All right, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy X HD Remastered. This is episode 44. Uh, so we just finished up uh, the uh, capturing of all the uh, uh, fiends in uh, the monster arena or in all of Sphera. We got 10 of them and we got uh, basically Nirvana, uh, which is Yuna's Celestial Weapon. And we got Auron's uh, uh, Mars Sigil and the Blossom Crown, which uh, we used against the Magus Sisters. Um, or to release the Magus Sisters. And uh, now we're going to be talking about the uh, arena um, area conquest. Which is the creatures that uh, Trema, the uh, keeper of the monster arena, makes. But before we do that, let's go ahead and uh, talk about what we need in order to uh, fight these guys. So what I actually recommend is actually getting all the celestial weapons, which we did in the last few episodes. Uh, so we have all three for our main party. Kalikborg, World Champ, and... Uh, god hand here and they all have uh, break hp limits which will come in handy a lot and then the next thing i want to talk about is actually the armor that you should use uh if you don't have ribbon that's okay but if at least one character has ribbon that should be that's definitely a plus uh you should use uh, auto phoenix and auto haste for sure on everybody uh and then uh, how to get them is basically for auto haste uh you have to get chocobo wings which can be uh acquired uh, by uh, bribing the makita at uh, the Omega Ruins or at the Monster Arena in the Omega Ruins section, uh, he'll take 3,000, uh, sorry, 360,000 uh, gil to uh, get about 60 or 70 of them, uh, depending on your luck. And uh, as for the Fe Auto Phoenix, you need something called Mega Phoenix. Uh, we did get a whole bunch from uh, when we uh, caught all the uh, fiends, we had a whole bunch of uh, Auto Phoenixes. But in order to, if you want, would like more Mega Phoenixes, go ahead and bribe uh, the uh, Ghost uh, Fiend at uh, the Cavern of the Stolen Faith. And uh, I believe he takes about 250,000 uh, gil for maybe uh, 20 or 30 of them. So go ahead and um, get these guys all customized. Uh, and then the ribbon, basically we got when we got all of the fiends we collected. He gave us uh, 99 Dark Matters, we used it in ribbon. I decided to use it on Titus because he is our main character and he basically links everybody together. Most people would go for, with uh, Riku, but uh, I prefer Titus, I don't know why. So, now that we have the armor, we also need to add a few more things to it. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. So let's start off with uh, Titus's. Uh, I like to put in um, either one of these guys. Uh, I prefer uh, Shell only because uh, uh, for Titus uh, because I'd like him to survive some uh, magic attacks. Uh, and he's not particularly strong right now in that department. And then as for um, Waka, I like to put auto protect or sorry not you know what we're gonna save that for Riku actually. I'm gonna put auto med and I'm also going to put auto reagent whereas Riku we're gonna go ahead and put auto protect because she is a little more vulnerable to um, physical attacks Auto protect, and then I'm also going to put auto med on. Oh, okay, so we need uh, uh, some uh, remedies for that. So we did just put it on the uh, Waka. So let's go ahead and grab them really quickly from Ren. Let's stock up on all our items so we don't have to keep coming back. Phoenix Downs, I cannot stress enough how important they are in this part of the game. So, always keep your Phoenix uh, Downs uh, stocked up. Because here on out, there's going to be a lot of enemies who's gonna, who are going to do insta-kills and just counter-kills and you just basically need to bring them right back and that's what the Auto Phoenix is for. So let's go to the Comlands now that we have all our gear um, racked up. Also, let's talk about stats. 
So uh, I didn't do anything, any special uh, leveling up or anything. I just basically put in all the levels that I got from my journey and from uh, capturing all the fiends. I didn't do anything particularly more than that. So somewhere a little above 100 uh, strength is basically what you need uh, to really take out the uh, arena guys. So let's go ahead and uh, do that right now. Let's head to the comp uh, to the monster arena so we can uh, fight each one. Okay. So let's go in here and uh, figure out what's going on. All right, Trema, let's start. Okay, so first we have the uh, Strato Avis. Uh, so this guy uh, is uh, susceptible to uh, slow and armor break. So go ahead and use full break, uh, Orin's Brandishing Blade Overdrive, or a Frag Grenade. Uh, you can also, uh, he he only does single attack. So uh, the way to do the uh, counter that is use counter attack or evade and counter weapons. And that can be really uh, helpful. Uh, then another thing is that his attacks, he uses something called uh, Pamun of Heavens. Uh, basically his wings start glowing and the next uh, um, attack he's going to do that attack and then uh, what's going to happen is uh, 15 out of 16th of your HP is going to go away plus darkness and delay is going to happen. Nothing of note for equipment. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, take this guy out really quickly. Shouldn't take very long. Uh, our guys are pretty good. Make sure to use those evade and counter weapons uh, wisely here. Uh, we got a lot. We got overdrives, but we're not going to use them against this guy. We won't need them. And that's it for Strato Avis. Next we have Marlboro Menace. Uh, so this guy is a pretty nasty creature. He uses a lot of status effects with the bad breath, but it's called Putrid Breath for this guy. Uh, go ahead and use a, a ribbon armor. That's going to help a lot. Uh, another thing is you can use uh, first strike weapons and uh, switch out to Yuna and have uh, Aeon come in and uh, destroy um, uh, Marlboro Menace here. Uh, he, he does use something called Chow Time which causes full break on your guys or uh, Mega Gastric Juice it also causes petrification plus full break on your guys so just keep that in mind uh, when fighting this guy uh, he drops a lot of status uh, strike abilities and the status proof armor so just keep that in mind here and then let's head to the next one Marlboro Menace So he's already caused the putrid uh, statuses. Let's go ahead and heal uh, all our guys, bring them back. Start off with Riku, and then Waka. Sweet. And now let's take him out. He should be a pretty easy uh, monster to take out here on out. His speed stat is pretty low, so we'll be getting a lot more turns than he does. So just keep attacking him until he basically dies. And that's it for Marlboro Menace. That was a pretty easy battle, I'd say. So Koto, he is uh, basically a very basic monster. You attack him, he attacks you back. Uh, and the harder you hit him, you ha the harder hits you back. Um, he only does single uh, single attacks, so uh, just have those counter and evade uh, evade and counter weapons uh, ready. Uh, use uh, Auto Phoenix because he will wipe out your guy every time he hits you. Uh, so go ahead and use Auto Phoenix so you don't have to waste a turn uh, bringing them back. Uh, and uh, he drops uh, 
two to three slot equipment uh, weapons and uh, magic counter weapons, event encounter weapons, which can be real handy against himself. Okay, time for the third one. Is Koto. So this guy's pretty easy. He's basically, if I hit you hard, I can hit you back harder. So let's go ahead and hit this guy. He basically, you can basically take him out with one um, Waka attack reels, but uh, we'll take him out the old-fashioned way. He only does single attack, so uh, your party is pretty much safe. Let's go ahead and hit the attack reels. This should kill him. There we go. We just got the overkill in the process too. Thank you, Waka. So we just did Koko Koto. Next we have Korojina. So uh, the thing that is really useful against this guy is the armor with Confused Ward or Confused Proof. Uh, because he does inflict something called Chaos Attack which causes uh, confuse, uh, Confusion, Doom, and Curse. Uh, so go ahead and use that. Uh, there's no point in using a Death Ward because he uses something called Blaster which basically even if you have a Death Proof armor it'll still hit you. Uh, and also use your uh, Aeons and their overdrives and your own overdrives like Waka's attack reels. That'll really help here. Uh, other than that, he drops weapons with Death Strike and Double AP. Double AP can really help you when leveling up uh, uh, after we're done this uh, part of the game. So let's do uh, Coral Re Regina. Coral Regina, I guess. Almost. Oh, and we got an energy rain. That's pretty cool. So we got one more left for uh, Blitz Ace, I guess. Ooh, Chaos. That's not a good one. Let's go ahead and heal her. Attack Walker. We're just going to leave the Doom on her because... Doesn't really matter, we're gonna take him out easily enough. So, we have uh, Jormund Gand, and uh, just make sure you use uh, Armor Break uh, ability, uh, or any kind of Frag Grenade or Oren's Banishing braid, uh, Blade on this guy. Also use your Auto Haste or Haste Gun on your uh, guys to uh, you know get more attacks in than he does uh, just be careful that he does use petrification attacks with cold stare uh, and uh, he can cause a lot of damage with his uh, time space warpal so uh, just make sure you watch for those other than that he's a pretty pu uh, he's a pushover for a uh, boss and uh, he just dropped some uh, three to four uh, slot equipment with uh, stone proof or stone strike uh, so just go ahead and look for those Next up, we have uh, Jormu Gand. So just make sure you have uh, stoneproof uh, armor here, because he will use uh, his stare, which will basically petrify and shatter whoever doesn't have protection. But because we have uh, Titus, I think we're pretty much okay. Space time war go. There it is. Ooh. That seems to have done a number on us. Let's try this. Oh, yeah, definitely done a number on us. Okay, let's go ahead and use 
remedy. Oh, that didn't do anything. Well, that's okay. Titus took him out for us. Next up we have the Cactar King. Uh, so here, don't even attempt to uh, hit him uh, because you're going to miss every time. His evasion stat is far too high. Uh, just go ahead and use your overdrives every time and they'll hit 100% of the time. Uh, use your auto phoenix armor because he will wipe you out every time you try to attack him. He's going to use his nine, uh, 10,000 needles attack and then on his actual turns he's going to use 100,000 needle attack. So make sure you watch for those. Uh, he will wipe you out. Uh, he does drop uh, weapons with strength and uh, defense armor. Nothing uh, too special to write uh, home about. He does have a, a. You need a very high luck and accuracy stat to hit this guy. So just be uh, wary of that. Next up, Cactar King. Ooh, I forgot to heal. That's okay. We're gonna heal on our next turn. There we go. There goes Cactar King. So here's Espada. So this guy, uh, make sure you use your Celestial Weapons. You need that uh, break damage limit because he does have some reagent on him. So you gotta stop. Uh, you gotta stop him. You gotta do more damage than he does. Uh, healing and uh, use death proof armor because he uses something called Hades Claw after every attack as a counter. It causes insta death, poison, and counter physical attack so make sure you stop that. Um, use the armor break on him again. Again frag missiles, arms, brandishing blade, and uh, full break. All of these guys will help you. Uh, use auto haste and auto phoenix armors that'll really help you out in this, uh, in this battle. So we just finished Cactar King, let's do Espada. Alright, let's do an attack reels. There we go. Okay. Is this gonna kill him? Yes it is. Down goes the spada. Next up we have Abyss Worm. So this guy's pretty easy, he just has a lot of HP. Uh, the only um, an attack of note is Earthquake which can cause, we can cause attack to uh, damage to everybody uh, in your party. Um, the easiest way is summon Valfor, you'll negate that attack and uh, you sleep on him uh, after he uses Quake, he's susceptible after that. Um, other than that he, he drops strength and uh, defense uh, armor, uh, weapon and armor so uh, just watch for those, uh, nothing of note here. Next we have Abyss Worm. So this guy's just got really high HP, but he's really easy to take out. So we're going to try and get our um, overdrives in so then we can just use our overdrive and get rid of this guy quickly. But for the most part, it's basically just attack before he attacks. Okay, so he swallowed uh, Titus, but that's okay. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Basically wiped us out, but that's okay. And bring him right back with that auto phoenix. Come on, boys, go to work. 
Oh, she survived it. So there you go, his uh, attacks aren't very strong, so he's a bit of a pushover. We can finish him really quickly. So this is the Chimera just. Uh, so make sure you use Doom on this guy, he is susceptible uh, if you are having trouble killing him. Uh, you can also use uh, Null Element and uh, Haste. Uh, the Null Element for because he uses a lot of elemental attacks, that should really uh, stop him from hurting you for a few turns. And then he's also susceptible to uh, Armor Break, so go ahead and use Armor Break, Full Break, uh, Frag uh, Grenade, and uh, Orange Brandishing uh, Blade. Uh, his attacks are a Medigo Flame, which we can counter with the Null Element, and uh, he uses Blizzara, Thunder, Thundara, and uh, Aqua Breath. All of these can be, um, the Aqua Breath can be learned by Kamari, so you can't absorb it here. Uh, he drops uh, three to four slots with uh, Elemental Eater abilities and armor, so go for look for that. Next up, we got the Chimera just. And again, I forgot to heal, but we have items this time. So let's go ahead and find a Mega Elixir. There we go. Back to normal. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Well, that's the end of him. So this is Don Tonberry. Make sure you use Auto Phoenix and uh, Auto Haste armor here. Uh, he again counters with Karma for every attack you make. Um, it, the damage is basically factored by the amount of fiends you've killed times 100. Uh, and then um, don't use any Aeons against him. He will use something called Voodoo. Basically it's an insta-kill for your uh, Aeons. They're not really helpful here. Uh, Chef's Knife is also insta-kill. He usually walks towards you four times and then after that he stops using his Karma ability but then he does use his chef, Chef's Knife ability there. So uh, go ahead and look for those. He drops uh, status strike up effects and status proof armor, nothing uh, of note. So next up, Don Tonberry. So this is where our uh, Auto Phoenix ability is going to be real helpful because of that attack. Every time we attack him, he basically counters with Karma, which is basically the amount of damage you you gave out and killed uh, fiends to, uh, you know, all the fiends you've killed so far on your way here. And we've killed quite a few. We'll actually be using him later on in the game to level up really quickly uh, because we'll be using the double AP and the overdrive to AP uh, weapons. Karma again. Bring her back guys. Let's use one of the attack reels so we can get we can speed the process up a little bit. Otherwise you get the gist of it. Attack, counter, attack, counter, attack, counter until he dies. Oh, that didn't kill him. That's interesting. Maybe we can use uh, Titus's uh, overdrive to finish him off. Okay, Titus, let him have it. Slice and dice, baby. Oh, wow. He's not doing much damage at all. Even with the Celestial Weapon, huh? That's interesting. Well, Celestial Weapons actually get stronger or the higher you, higher your HP is anyway, so... Maybe because he's halfway, he's, his strength is a little lower. But we'll be able to get him with uh, Waka next, I think. Just make sure your Overdrive uh, ability is Stoic. So every time you get attacked, you get your overdrive gauge right back. Mm. 
Darn Waka, kill him. Overkill. There you go. And now we have Catabulus. Uh, so he uh, just use auto Phoenix, auto shell, and auto life on you because he does do a nasty attack at the end called uh, Ultima uh, after he dies. Um, we saw something similar with uh, the Behemoth King in Inside Sin. After he died, uh, he, he did something called Meteor. Uh, but uh, use Waka's attack reels here. He'll, he'll do pretty good damage. Uh, he is susceptible to armor break again, so full break, uh, frag grenade, and uh, Aran's uh, brandishing blade. Uh, he, his most devastating attack is the Ultima, but uh, he does like to use a uh, pop fly, which is damage plus delay on your character. Uh, he drops weapons with status strikes and armor uh, with status proof, uh, so you can look for those. And that was Tonberry. Let's go ahead and do the next guy. Catablopus, I guess. Okay, let's go ahead and heal uh, everybody first. There we go. Everybody back to normal. Ooh, that didn't do anything. Uh, we do not have an interest. That's okay. We can use his overdrive. Alright, slice and dice, baby. Just remember he used his ultima at the end when he dies, so keep that into your consideration when you are attacking him. Alright, attack reels. We do have uh, one character, that's why I said we need one character with shell at least. So that way if we ever have attacks like this, one person will survive. At least. That's interesting. I thought that would have taken him out. Come on guys, take him out. There it is. Now he's gonna do the Ultima. But we should survive since Titus has uh, the shell. I'd be very surprised if he didn't. There we go and brings Riku right back. So welcome to Abaddon. Uh, so this guy is pretty easy to beat, but make sure you use your Celestial Weapon so you do cause a good amount of damage. Uh, use your Haste, uh, your Dark Proof, your Poison Proof, Curse Proof Armor, and use Quick Hits uh, so you can get good hits in uh, quickly and uh, get more turns than he does. Um, he does use something called Pharaoh's Curse. We saw it with the Demolith. Uh, make sure it causes darkness, silence, poison, and curse. So just watch for that. And then he also uses something called Emblem of Ka of Cosmos. Causes him a lot of damage, so just watch for those. Can wipe you out quickly if you're not paying attention. Uh, nothing of note in equipment, so just go ahead. Alright, so next up is Abandon. A bad one? Yeah. So let's try and get this guy figured out as soon as possible. Because he does have some nasty, nasty attacks. Demi. Okay, so this is a proportional attack. We should be alright. Let's use Waka's attack reels, just to speed up the process. There it is. Alright Waka, take him out. Ooh, he is not doing much damage at all. Okay, I think we're gonna heal ourselves before we continue. Ooh, 
let's try this again. Okay, let's see. Don't try using magic on this guy, he's, it's kind of useless. Hmm, that's interesting. I thought it would have killed him. Emblem of the Cosmos. Let's see how devastating this is. Ooh, basically took out both of them. But because we had the auto shell, it really helped us out. And I should bring them right back with the auto phoenix. Let's go ahead and heal everybody. Okay, Blizza Blizzaga, okay. Ugh, took her right out. Not even a chance. All right, let's try this attack reels one more time. Okay, what do you got for me, Waka? Hmm. There we go. That took care of him. So this is Warband. Uh, Warband is probably the toughest uh, area conquest uh, uh, monster here. Uh, he has a really high HP stat uh, and his defenses are off the charts. Um, make sure you use Shell right at the beginning of the of the uh, game uh, of the uh, round, and uh, use attack reels with Waka, and then go ahead and use uh, Anima and the Maga Sisters here. They really be helpful here. Especially Anima with his pain ability and the Maga sisters with their uh, Regia ability. And uh, he does counter with uh, Motar every time you do an attack, so watch for those. And then he uses Body Splash on his actual turns. Uh, he doesn't drop anything of note except for strength uh, weapons and uh, defense armors. So just look for those. So next up is Warband. Let's go ahead and uh, fight him here. <coughs> So Warband's got uh, 630,000 HP, and uh, he's pretty formidable. But uh, what I would uh, recommend is actually starting the battle off with uh, Shell here, um, like I'm doing with uh, these guys. Uh, I guess he doesn't have Shell, so we'll block with him. Um, reason being is Warband, um, he he um, counters with something called Motar. So, which is a magic based attack, so just keep attacking him until, you know, just chipping away at his, uh, his HP little by little. Um, what I recommend is if you have overdrive, just use those over and over again, um, because he will use uh, his um, Motar otherwise. So because we've used the, the, the shell, uh, it should uh, lower the uh, damage we take every time he hits us with that Motar. Let's use one of those healing waters. Bring everybody back to health. Ooh, that's hurtful. I'm actually gonna heal her first so she doesn't die. But we're prepared with that shell, so. Perfect, now that we have some overdrive gauge. There we go. Hit him, Waka. Sweet. And trust yours to walk And we will use 
slice some dice. Really. Titus. Hopefully we can wipe this out. We should be able to heal after this. After his Motar. So. Let's heal. Let's use those mega elixirs. Come on, there we go. Alright, let's do that attack reel again. I think we need like three or four attack reels on him and then the guy will overkill. Alright, come on Waka. What do you got for me? Not quite there yet. Okay, no problem. You just keep giving us those overdrive gauges. No problem. Sweet. Riku has overdrive gauge now. But that also means we need to cast Shell on her. Save your attack. Save your attack. Save your attack. Okay, and trust. Now walk the attack wheels. Well, let's see what he's gonna do here. So this is our third attack reel. There it is. He's down. And I think that's it for all the uh, area conquests. So I'm actually going to call it an episode there. Thank you for tuning in to uh, Final Fantasy X HD Remastered. Uh, this was episode uh, uh, two of our Monster Arena uh, uh, of our Monster Arena series. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Help the channel grow. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye bye.